Here we go. Hey guys, back with another video. It's actually not an outfit of the day. Can you believe it? Um, they're fun, what can I say? This is actually an empties video and I am going to apologize in advance because I am literally on the floor in my master bedroom, a pile of dirty clothes. It was the best light that I could find in the house because I didn't want to lug out my lighting. Just didn't feel like it, so. We're going to get through this because we're soldiers. Um, so yeah, empties video, um, things that have just sort of been collecting in this bag, right y'all, for quite some time now. It's mostly beauty, some hair items, so let's jump in, shall we? Um, first thing is first, um, and then I guess what I'll do is I'll go through, and if I have repurchased it or will repurchase it, I'll let you know. If I'm not going to repurchase it, I'll let you know. So first thing first is a body wash. Um, I bought this, I think, on the recommendation of someone else that I watch on YouTube. It's by Nivea. It's called the Touch of Happiness Moisturizing Body Wash with Orange Blossom and Bamboo Essence. This is it right here. And it's so Good. Um, I actually am going to repurchase this. I really love the scent. It's one of those scents that's like really invigorating when you take a shower. Sometimes you need to sort of like wake up quickly. This is kind of that scent that it just wakes you up. It smells so, so good. Very citrusy, very clean, very, very fresh. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this bad boy right here. Nivea, touch of happiness. Thumbs up. Next thing <laughs> is actually a shampoo and conditioner. I bought this on the recommendation of my friend Julie, um, who has a Facebook page that I'll link down below. It's not quite Edelweiss, it's her Facebook page. She's an expat, she's from the UK, and she has moved to America. She's hilarious. But she recommended this shampoo and conditioner, and I'm so glad that she did. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have really sensitive scalp. It gets really itchy. It gets really sore, um, and so what I've had to resort to doing is buying like the sulfate sulfate free um, shampoos and conditioners. Redken has one. I think L'Oreal's got one. But they can get really pricey, and so she said, you know, you should try this. And I was kind of surprised because it's not a brand that I would really go for, but it's the Suave Professional. And it's the ones with Moroccan Aragon Oil infused in it. This particular one is the Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. And it smells so freaking good. It's like spicy, kind of musky, like, oh, it smells so delicious. And it really does. It keeps the, the shine up. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't make my scalp itchy. It feels really nice. And the scent lasts a really long time, which I like. I know some people aren't into that, but I like when my hair kind of flips around and I catch a whiff of it and it smells really good. I think these were like $2.89 a piece. Um, so they were totally on the cheap. I got them at the drugstore and they work really, really well. Um, and I've already repurchased two new shampoo and conditioner. Um, so that's how much I love them. Totally recommend these. If you've got a little sensitive scalp issue, try these. These work pretty good. Next thing, let's go with this. Um, I really love these. Um, I didn't repurchase them because I was in a hurry and when I went to the store, they didn't have any. Um, but I really like these. I bought these in lieu of the Equate Daily Cleansing Cloths, the dry ones that you just run under water and then they lather up. Um, my Walmart was out of those, so I bought these. They're the Simple Cleansing Cloths. You get 25 wipes. It's um, got no alcohol, no oil, no artificial perfumes or dyes. It's just really nice and what I really like about it is it removes like that really hard to get off eye makeup. It doesn't sting. There's no burning. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. I didn't break out. So I definitely recommend these. I didn't actually repurchase these this trip. I bought something else because I just needed something on the fly, but I'm definitely going to repurchase these. The only thing is I couldn't find any that 
have more than 25. I wish I could get a pack with like 60 or 80, something like that, because these go really fast. So, and I think I paid at Target, I think I paid right around 253 for these. Definite repurchase, highly recommend. Next thing, oh, is makeup. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is in transparent. Um, and you can see there's still a little bit left in here, but I really don't want to go fishing around for it. Um, this is in transparent. I've actually already repurchased this. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you like the matte finish, if you're not a big powder person, um, if you like more of a dewy finish on your skin, you know, you probably stay away from powders. But if you're a big powder fan like I am because I've got that really oily T-zone, really recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte. They're so good. Like I said, I've already repurchased. They're so good. The only bummer is the packaging. There's no compact. There's no mirror. There's no little, like, doohickey, you know, for, like, throw in your purse. It's kind of one of those things that you just have to make do, but it's so good that it's it's worth it. Um, I think these are maybe three bucks, four bucks, somewhere in there. So love these. Already repurchased. Definitely recommend. Next. It's pretty easy. Um, next is a, a lotion. Um, I've been using this brand since I was in high school. Um, and I was looking for a lotion kind of as we were heading into the winter months that would really combat the kind of the dry, itchy skin that, that we all get. Um, but I didn't want anything that would compete with perfume or if I wanted to wear a body mist or something like that. And I find that even though I love, love the Bath and Body Works, you know, body butters, they're strong scents and that's really all you can wear. If you're going to put that on, that's the only scent that you can really wear that I found. Um, so I remembered that I had a love affair with this brand back in high school. So I went to kind of check out the store that just opened up in my mall here and picked this up. And I'm really, really glad I did. And I'm definitely repurchasing. It's the Kiehl's Creme Decor. It looks like this. And what I like about it, A, no scent whatsoever other than maybe just kind of a lotion-y scent, just a plain lotion scent. I hope you know what that means. Uh, cause I don't, <laughs> but it's, it's just very generic smelling. Um, but the other thing I really like about it is it's not, it's not really super thick, but it's not watery either. I find that lotions that are really watery just don't work for me. They just, they, they soak in too quickly. I don't feel like I got hydrated at all. Um, and oftentimes I feel drier after putting that on than I did without it if you catch my drift. So for me, this is like the be all end all in terms of lotion um, because it does the trick. It works really nice. It's not super greasy, but it's not really watery. It's just a great, great formulation in terms of lotion. So highly recommend that. Definitely gonna be repurchasing this baby. Next in my bag of goodies. Oh, this is a good one. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how many of you are devotees to Urban Decay's D Slick or All Nighter. Huge fan, love it. Um, when I went to my Ulta to repurchase my Urban Decay D Slick that I had run out of, they were out completely. They didn't have the D Slick and they didn't have the All Nighter. So I was really in a pickle and I happened to be perusing the NYX section, as you do, and I no noticed that they have finishing sprays now, which I didn't know they had. So I picked up the NYX Matte Finish Fini Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. Um, and I have to say, totally good. Works really well, but it's not quite the same as D-Slick. I really love the finish that, that the Urban Decay gives me. I feel like it's still really fresh. I'm not... I. I don't get flattened, if you know what I mean. Like my makeup doesn't get dull. This, though it did keep me totally matte, it kind of dulled the finish of my makeup. So I felt like I looked almost a little gray kind of throughout the day. Does that make sense? So though the claim of keeping you matte definitely is true for this, I just didn't love the finish that it gave me. I think I'm kind of spoiled by the whole D slick thing. Um, but if you're looking for an on the fly matte finishing spray, this is definitely worth a try. It's definitely 
a crap ton cheaper than the D-Slick. I think this was maybe four bucks versus, you know, what, almost 20 for the D-Slick. So nice, cheaper alternative. I have a couple of mascaras. Actually, I've got one, two, three, four. And then we're almost done. Three more things. Um, so I'll start, I'll start with this one. Um, this one I never actually even finished. I just, I used it a couple of times and discovered that I think it's not that good. Um, this came with the, um, one of the trios that I bought from Wet n Wild. I think it was the Enlisted for Beauty. And this happened to kind of be a bonus with the trio. Um, so it's the Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild. It's not that it's not good, I guess. It just, for me, I didn't notice anything. I, I felt like all it did was make my eyelashes black. Yeah, I think it's black. Yeah. So I didn't really notice much of a difference. It's got kind of, um, kind of a wetter formula. And the brush is good. This is the kind of brush I like, but no length, no volume, no much of nothing. So to each their own, maybe it works for you. But for me, it just, it didn't really make one bit of difference on my eyelashes other than it made them black. So I guess maybe every day, if you just wanted to pop something on really quick, this would work, but otherwise not gonna go out and buy it. Glad it was free. <laughs> Glad it came with the thing. Um, next thing is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. It's this one. I actually really like it. For me, this would be almost kind of a daily wear mascara if I weren't, if I were just kind of hanging around the house or maybe going to run some errands. Um, this is a nice or like a good weekend mascara. It's I love the brush. It's really kind of um, plush. I mean, there's lots of long little bristles there. Um, the formula is a little bit on the drier side, which I kind of don't mind, um, but it's not the best for like tons of volume. It's kind of, for me, a better lengthening mascara. Next is um, the Benefits Their Real Mascara. I know everyone raves about this mascara, and actually I do really like it. It's not my favorite, um, but it's pretty darn good. I didn't want to shell out the 20 some odd bucks for the full size tube, so I just bought the like little impulse buy um, at Ulta. I think it was $12 for this. So in comparison to a normal size mascara, you can see it's pretty small. Um, and I think it's, I don't even know if it says six, I don't know. Oh, 0.14 ounces. So, um, I'm glad I didn't buy the full one because I didn't love it super, super a lot. But here's the the bristles. Pretty good. Not bad. Um, and what I like is the little bulby thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. The little bulby thing on the end is perfect for like getting into these little, little babies right here. Um, and the formula is really nice. Didn't flake or anything, but just for me, I'm kind of a drag queen when it comes to my lashes. I like tons of lashes without having to wear falsies. So, and I just didn't feel like this did a whole lot to them. But again, this would be a good kind of weekend mascara. Um, I might actually repurchase another little one of these. So, if that helps, yeah. Um, this is probably my fifth or sixth tube of this mascara. This to me is like my holy grail. Other than like the Dior Hypnose, which is very expensive, I find that this is like the one that I'll always repurchase. It is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express and it's the flared. This is the brush or the wand, I should say. It's kind of curved and the formulation is, is in between wet and dry. You follow? So, um, this is just my favorite. I started using it because Tanya Burr um, loves it. It's her favorite, and I love her lashes. She's kind of drag queeny too. She's got tons of lashes, so, and they flare out really nice. So, I bought it, and I've been hooked ever since. This is the bomb diggity. If you're looking for like great drugstore mascara that gives you tons of lashes, tons of volume, tons of length. This is it. We're in the home stretch. 
Okay, this is hands down my favorite concealer. I wish that it was available here in the States. It's not. Um, I've only had the pleasure of having one tube of it um, sent to me by a friend and that friend no longer lives in this area, so I can't get it again. Um, but it's the Collection 2000. It's the Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I think this is in medium, medium three. And it's so good. It is the best concealer in the entire universe. But it blends really nice. It feathers out really well. It's great for under the eyes. It's great for around the nose. It tones down any redness. It takes away any green. I mean, this stuff is just wicked good. So I wish I could find something comparable to this here in the States, but I have yet to find something. So if you know of something that's kind of a dupe for this concealer, let a sister know. Okay, last but not least, this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Um, this is, I think, my third tube of this, I think. Um, and I started using it again on the recommendation of Tanya Burr because I think that our skin types are similar. Um, whoops, man down. Um, so, and she's had great luck with it. So I went ahead and purchased it and I'm so glad I did. It's the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo and it's just kind of a good spot treatment for acne prone skin or if you get kind of spotty blemishes. Um, I would not say that it's an all over kind of treatment though I've done that especially on my chin because I get really broken out here. Um, this, this seems to be fine with me. It's the benzoyl peroxide which I like. For me it works a lot better than like salicylic acid but again this is strong so you want to kind of use it as a spot treatment just FYI and you can see that I love it so much I've cut the top off and that my dear friends concludes empties number one I'm already starting to compile another bag full of empties so be on the lookout for that <laughs> And as always, thank you guys for coming by. Always appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you know what to do. Subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.